So if you watch news, even in passing, you have probably seen the headlines about Mary Lou Ritten, um, an Olymp- uh, Olympic gymnast who is battling for her life. She has pneumonia. And I didn't know any of her past dealings, but because of this, um, some things are coming out about her. So she has a rare pneumonia diagnosis and she has no insurance. She's in ICU with no insurance and she is a famous Olympic athlete. She has no health insurance and her daughters started asking for help. They're asking, they did a crowdfunding um, campaign where they're looking for help to, you know, pay for some of these medical bills. So written supposedly could be worth about $2 million. She um, was a famous Olympic athlete. She had lots of endorsements, but, um, you know, so she is worth supposedly about $2 million. And just because you're worth $2 million doesn't mean that you have that money on hand to pay bills. But welcome to America. Lots of people don't have money to pay bills. And there are people that are actively against affordable health care and actively pushing back against people getting affordable health care. Remember Obamacare and how the Republicans were staunchly no? Okay, come to find out, Mary Lou Ritten was actively stomping for Republicans back in her heyday. If you are one of my YouTube followers, I will post the information, I'll post a video on the back end for from the content creator that is speaking about how she was stomping for Republicans. She's stomping for a party that is actively against getting people affordable health care. She is there, but now she's in the same boat as normal folks. And, you know, politics, it, it makes me a little bit upset because people like this, she's going to get the help that she needs. Her GoFundMe has already raised her over $300,000, but normal folks don't get that kind of help. But she does, even though she has the money to actually get the care. She has the connections to get the care. So she doesn't have health insurance, but that's not going to impact her health. That's not going to be the, the reason why she gets healthy or not. Unlike normal Americans that can't just put up a crowdfunding um, link and get $300,000. Okay, so this part, Mary Lou Redden doesn't have health insurance, which is part of the reason why her medical care is crippling expensive for her and her family. It's unclear why she didn't have health care, um, have a health care plan, as she'd likely be eligible for one under the ACA if she couldn't get one through her employer. Um, whether her lack of health insurance was due to financial difficulties, a previous policy lapsing, or more personal reasons remains unknown. And it doesn't particularly matter because people like her and the party that she stands for were actively against it. And this just goes to show how politics is personal. Politics is personal. I, I really hope that the people who are donating money to this woman ask themselves, would she and people like her donate money to them? This is one of the reasons why I consistently say, pour into the people that pour into you. Support the people that would support you. Do you think that this woman and people like her would support you? Anyways, you guys can jump in the comment section if you are interested in seeing the content creator whose video spurred my video. Click the the comment that I have listed here if you are on TikTok. If you are on YouTube, I will be playing her videos next. Y'all jump in the comments and let me know what you think. Like, comment, share. The story broke that gymnast Mary Lou Retton, who's known as America's Sweetheart, is battling a rare form of pneumonia and she's on machines. She cannot breathe on her own. She's known for being the 1984 Olympic gold medalist in the individual all around, which was the first for American women. She's also known for having that infamous uh, perfect 10 vault. When learning about her critical condition in the ICU, we also found out that Mary Lou Retton does not have health insurance. Mary Lou Retton's daughters came out asking for some financial assistance because their mother doesn't have health insurance. And so the the internet quickly, quickly descended on that because what a, what a commentary on America's healthcare system that one of its premier athletes, um, only 55 years old is without health insurance. But then it went in a direction that I was not prepared for. Like, I thought I was a follower of USA Gymnastics. Oh, no, friend. Oh, no. What a dark side. Buckle up. 
So first it started with this tweet that I saw, which says that Mary Lou Retton essentially spent all of her years actively campaigning for Republicans. The same Republicans that keep fighting affordable health care for the majority of Americans. So first I was like, this girl, this girl actively campaigned for Reagan and Bush. And then I was like, wait, it was the 80s. Of course she did. She's a major athlete. Of course they tapped her to be like the all-star of the Republican team. And sure enough, you can find history that she's been very supportive of the GOP, of the Republican Party. Uh, she's from West Virginia. This track, she was at the 2004 Republican National Convention with the other Olympic gold medalist, Carrie Strug. Also very disappointing. Originally, I shared this not to disparage her character at all. I wanted people to see how important it is to pledge your support behind people that are going to actively fight for policies that will impact you and your loved ones. How ironic that this all-star gold medal winning athlete worked for the very party that then undermined her ability to get health care. It's absolutely heartbreaking, but a lesson for all of us. But then I stumbled upon this in my research. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to post the part two on this, but also people are graciously donating towards her health care fund. And I don't know, some of them might want to know this information. Let me know what you think. Part two of all the information that I have discovered about former gymnast, Olympic gold medalist, Mary Lou Retton. Now, evidently, this is not a secret. This is very Googleable. It's been out there, but I hadn't heard it. And let me just preface this by saying right now that we can put partisan politics aside any day, right? If somebody's sick, if they're hurting, they need help, we can put partisan politics aside. But you know what we can't put aside? People who support other people who essay children or anyone that gets in the way of legislation that would protect children from essay. First, you should know that Mary Lou Retton had been elected to the USA board, the USA Gymnastics board. So she's like up there, up there in the hierarchy, making decisions. In case you're keeping a timeline, this was in 2008. That's when they adopted a new governance structure. And so they're going to have a 20 person board and Mary Lou Retton was going to be one of those people. The SA scandal broke a few years ago with Dr. Larry Nassar and it was determined that the USA Gymnastics had complaints on 54 coaches regarding SA claims against children. Congress then put out a bill that was aimed to prevent SA among athletes and members of the board went to go meet with Diane Feinstein, the late Senator. One of those people was Mary Lou Retton. She said that the Federation's policies were solid and that gymnastics was a happy and a safe place. And Mary Lou was constantly their go-to spokesperson. She made several statements like this one. It's a beautiful sport filled with beautiful people and the spotlight's going to be the monster and it's a problem. And rightfully so, this person points out, no, the spotlight's on your organization because you weren't protecting these athletes. You do realize the head coach of your 1984 Olympic team was a predator. And this refusal to admit the problem is why we have a problem. It's not just the statements. When asked if she would support the Protecting Young Victims from SA Act, the Safe Sport Act, she declined. Mary Lou Retton declined. As I said, we can put partisan politics aside. That's fine. I don't care. If you stand in the way of legislation that's trying to protect children from SA, if you willingly stand up for the establishment, a big, essentially a corporation in this spot, and you maintain nothing's wrong, you are the problem. And people should know about this. They should know about this before they send their money in for her care.